Welcome back guys! So in today's video, we're going to be covering how to use autoplay correctly. So you'll be getting a bunch of free stuff without actually having to put time and effort into fighting. You can do this in school, you can do this while you're eating dinner, you can do this whatever. You don't have to pay attention to the phone, you just literally click autoplay and you get some free stuff while you're, you've got some downtime. This includes all of the arena rewards, it includes the gems, it includes uh, the levels after you win like 50 fights, you get a bunch of stuff. It includes the arena invasion stuff, it includes campaign uh, winnings, whatever you want to call it. You get XP for your characters, it, it just includes tons of stuff. So we're going to cover exactly how to do it just real quick, but before we do... Doo -doo! I want to say welcome to our newest members! So, we've got Shervin, Tracy, How To Sub Zero, Franchise, and Larry Smith. Uh, so, you can see that we've got a couple of longtime friends here. We got six months, and 11 months, and 16 months. I've come out with new badges for Larry Smith and uh, How To Sub Zero here. I gotta make a year long plus badge here. But either way, if you guys would like to support me and my channel, uh, just click join on any of my videos, underneath any of my videos, or on my uh, channel homepage. You get a whole bunch of cool stuff, a lot of cool videos that uh, include glitches, leaks, stuff like that. Um, that you guys can use to help your gameplay, but I can't post publicly, otherwise they get patched. So if you'd like to support me and my stream, feel free. We're also getting a new uh, <laughs> emoji of uh, Tyler Lansdowne, Uncle Ty Ty emoji, uh, because uh, Shervin actually was uh, the person that subscribed and became a member last and unlocked that reward, so I actually get to create another emoji. <laughs> so that should be live by the time this video goes up. But if you'd like to, great. If not, I love you either way. Much love. All right, so back to the autoplay. So you guys have used autoplay a whole bunch, I would imagine. You've probably been doing it in campaign a little bit and in arena maybe a little bit and stuff like that, but it hasn't been very successful is my guess. If you already know how to use autoplay down to a T, feel free to skip this video, but there are a lot of cool little nifty tricks you can do with it. So for me, I have three devices. I have one, two, and then my iPad. And basically I have those three devices running while I'm on phone calls, while I'm eating dinner, just doing whatever, just auto-playing to get me some rewards. Uh, and I can just leave them there for like 10 minutes, come back and like, oh, I won, refresh, 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 fight, 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 and then I'm good to go. So let's run through Arena first, because that's the one that I find it's most important for, okay? So let's look at the season rewards. First off, you get a ton of uh, shards if you can get high up miles or high up tiers. If you're auto-playing, you shouldn't really be worried too much about these rewards. You should be looking at the milestone rewards. So for me, I'm level 70. I can get all of these rewards without playing a single fight, like actually fighting a single fight just through auto-play. And I do that on all three accounts, or all, on three devices. So if we look at exactly what the rules are, there's only a couple of rules. One is you want to only ever have one character on your team. So right now I've got Starfire. She heals herself, so this should be almost a given that she's going to win. But you should only ever have one character on your team. Doesn't matter what the threat is. You should not be fighting more than one Justice League or one Multiverse team member on the opponent's team. And you should always be fighting the lowest team to ensure that you win. If you want to gain, like, because Starfire, I have a lot of confidence in her. I could probably go up one, one rank here and fight this one, but as you see, there's three Justice League, so you refresh, and mm, this one's two. You always want to fight against three opponent characters. The reason for that is because they are so weak, they build up to have the same threat as your one character. One character with huge threat beats three characters with a third of each of their threat because the damage they're outputting doesn't do enough damage to kill your, your character. So this is two characters. You want to find one with three characters. It's not Justice League or Multiverse. This one's perfect. Look, we're at 192 versus 129. So we're going to fight it. And you get an invasion. So we're going to get rewards for invasion. So now you go off. You, you Well, not now. You push autoplay. <laughs> but as soon as you push autoplay, you go off. You eat dinner. You do whatever. You come back and you're done. But we're just going to auto... <sighs> I closed it. Sorry. Uh, you autoplay. And you just let it be. Again, this is going to be a long fight, but you're not actually playing. And if you've got another device where you're like actually grinding Champions Arena or something like that on a secondary account or something like that, then your first device can be uh, doing damage for you in-game. Let me turn it down a little bit here. Um, so, you can do this with any threat character. The reason that I started doing this was because 
I started a couple of alt accounts and my alt accounts were like level one. Like the actual account was level one. And I was like, man, it's gonna take forever to get all the way up. And you get a whole bunch of extra energy and a whole bunch of extra everything when you just start playing. That actually sitting there playing the entire time on a couple of extra alt accounts takes for freaking ever. It takes a lot of your time. Okay, so we just won and she barely got any damage dealt to her. Again, she heals herself, so she's kind of a bad case to, to show you this on. But I just wanted you to just wanted to prove that autoplay can actually kill a team of three very easily uh, if you use the right characters, and it can be like a pretty high up level um, team. You can I, you can check it out with Starfire to see how high up she can go. Maybe she can do a 400k threat team by herself. I feel like she probably wouldn't be able to beat this one. Mm, she probably could do 250k uh, if you just removed the Power Girl there. Um, and replaced her with something else. But as soon as you start getting higher up in the threat level, you start find it, it becomes harder and harder to find uh, teams with the threat level that you want to face off against. But again, you can always beat the lowest threat team. So let's run and just show you how how simple this is. I'm gonna tell you that 99% of people that play this game, no matter whether they're new or seasoned veterans of the game, they don't use this end of the roster. If they're using the characters on their roster, they play them if they if they're at this end of the roster they're not playing them they're not building them up building them up they're not putting a bunch of effort into them so let's just pick any garbage character i mean we'll do aquaman i guess he's pretty garbage right um and his threat's only 20k so a brand new player could have a three star aquaman at level 49 at 20k threat that's like the, one of the easiest things to do maybe not this specific aquaman but just like a really crappy level character so I'm never going to play this character in Arena, meaning that if I win with him or if I lose with him, couldn't care less to me because I, he's not affecting my main core teams, my Justice League team, my Multiverse team, my Mythic Wonder Woman, Dr. Fate, all of the good teams that I actually want to spend time fighting with and getting Arena points with. But if I play him, so I'm just going to fight him against his lowest one, None of the, I meet all of the criteria, all of the rules, classic Batman's going to invade. Great, so I get a, a Batman shard. A lot of us right now aren't playing arena mode because we're in Champions Arena. We're focused heavily on Champions Arena, building up our teams and stuff like that. And we might be playing arena, but we might not actually be putting as much effort into it as we used to because we're jumped, we jumped into Champions Arena. This is a perfect use case for playing your, your garbage characters in arena and still getting all those rewards. So, I'll tell you that he's going to win. Um, there are four. What are the rules for um, other use cases for autoplay? One is if you're in the campaign mode. The, you would want three characters in campaign mode. And you want to only fight teams that have about... Unless, it, unless you're using a Justice League team or a Multiverse team. You want to fight a team that is about uh, two-thirds of your threat. So, same rules apply. You don't want to fight Justice League or whatever in, in any case. I don't think they're in campaign. But you want to fight against... If your threat is 100k threat for your three characters, you want to fight against an enemy team that is only about 70, 65k threat. Anything above that, they're going to start beating you. But that means that A, let's, so, so we won, we got rewards, yay, yay, yay. So you just keep on doing this, auto-playing, and you'll eventually get to 50 wins and get all of your rewards without even actually playing the game. Let's go into campaign and show you the reasons why you'd want to do it. So if we go to uh, this one, nope, I already done my pips. Okay, so let's go normal. You can see that uh, if I actually end up playing this, I get the account XP, which for new teams... You want that account XP so that your level, your your player account XP gets up and you can start doing champions or you're at level 60. Stuff like that. You want your level to get up as high as possible so that your energy also maxes out at 150, all that kind of good stuff. The other reason you wouldn't want to sim these fights is sim chips. Right now I've got 3,000. But if you don't have 3,000 sim chips, you only got like 100 because you're not spending gold or whatever the hell... If you've only got 100 sim chips, you don't want to be simming every single fight so that you can go off and play Champions Arena or whatever the new thing is, leagues, whatever the case is. You want to be saving those for the days that you're literally like, oh man, I've got two minutes before the end of the day, sim, 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 and then go get all of your, go get all of your rewards. So you save sim chips, you get account XP, and you also get character XP, which is pretty awesome too. So 
if we're gonna fight, let's let's do something for like the newbies here so we can see. Uh normal him him sure whatever so that is uh 35k let's just i'm just gonna do quick maths and say 60k is what we're gonna try and fight this with do i even have characters that can go down to 60k for a team of three looks like i do they have no synergy so again i'm trying to show you teams that have no synergy so that you don't have to be playing te like good teams oh my god uh let's try this maybe okay 60k um so again it's about two-thirds of your threat so 35k is a little bit low you could probably go to 40k um i'm just gonna do this one because this is a pretty good example of it um again fight and then autoplay when it starts so what i do is once once i've created new accounts on my alt accounts i autoplay on all three devices by the time that the first autoplay has or by the time the third autoplay i've clicked autoplay on the third one the first account's ready to go again and i can just literally autoplay all the way around i i think i had 400 something plus energy on one of my new alt accounts and it took for freaking ever for me to do those fights whereas if you're autoplaying them you can do whatever the hell you want do them while you're working blah 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 so i'll shut up about uh, the, the greatness of autoplay but it's really something that i use quite a lot um Additionally, the last area that you can use autoplay in really is in uh, resource missions. Sorry, somebody was knocking on my door. Um, in resource missions, it, it, it's, it's the same principles that apply. If you, you can, you can autoplay a resource mission when the opposing team has two-thirds of your threat. That's pretty much it. Uh, you should win every single time. Same with uh, challenge mode, except that one's a little bit more intriguing because it's two garbage characters and one good character that you're facing off against. So that good character actually makes up the majority of the team threat. So you want to make sure that it that it, you have about double the team threat of the uh, of the uh, challenge mode. So if they've got a 100k threat, you should have a team that's 200k threat. Now, obviously, if you've got the Justice League team and the Multiverse team, all of these rules are out the window. Just throw the, your team in there, autoplay against whatever team you're going to fight off against, and you'll win every single time um, in campaign and, uh, and uh, resource missions and uh, challenge mode. You'll win every single time. Just throw your, your characters in there. You'll be good to go. Um, but arena is the only one where there are a little bit more rules as to exactly how often you're going to win and how to play and stuff like that. But, um, it is pretty simple. We'll do one more arena battle just to show you guys, um, somebody that's not a low threat character and not somebody that can heal themselves. And it'll be a little bit more of a close battle if it's above 150 K, uh, threat for the character that you choose, but it'll still work. So let's see here. We'll do... That is not... Okay, don't autoplay in Champions Arena. If you guys win a Champions Arena with autoplay, uh, I want to know. Also, don't do leagues. If you win in leagues with autoplay... Uh, not win, but if you get more than a mil damage with autoplay in leagues, uh, <laughs> I need to see that, da that battle. All right, so let's do around 100k. Uh, do we have a Raiden somewhere? Did I see Raiden? Did I miss him? There he is. He's right at 100k. All right, cool. We'll do Raiden. Um, again, he's nothing special, especially my Raiden. He's pretty garbage. Uh, like, he's got level 60 gear, but it's definitely not optimized. His th stats are absolute trash. Um, and, you know, he's only four stars. So he should get wrecked if my theory doesn't work, but he, if my theory does work. Again, three, you got to have a three character opposing team in Arena. That's not this. He might be able to take this on, to be honest with you. Mm, mm, do we do it for the vid? Do we do it for the vine? We'll do it for the vine. I feel like I might lose because you should be playing the very bottom um, team. I'm going to do one more up because I have faith in Raiden. But he might get crapped on because this is one and a half times his threat. We'll see. It's unhinged Harley Quinn on the enemy team. So hopefully I don't lose. Otherwise, I'm going to be eating my words. All right, come on. Oh, shit, I got to autoplay. I was like, why am I not fighting, bro? All right. Oh, this Robin's pretty good. Look, he didn't take any damage. Oh, never mind. He took a lot of damage. He took a lot of damage. Okay. 
man. Okay, yeah, so autoplay should work with with maybe one up, but definitely if you're just trying to go for uh, go for wins, just go for the bottom one. It's the quickest, it's the easiest, and you're really not gaining that much additional. <laughs> Gotta love getting, or unhinged Harley getting crapped on. Um, what the hell was I saying? Oh, if you're just going for wins, just go for the easiest battle uh, on the bottom so you can get those rewards. If they're the quickest, it means that you run through battles quicker and you can get your rewards quicker. But just uh, just making it a little bit fun for this video. I really hope I win. Oh, shit, dude. He's down to half health. Come on, big guy. Do it. Do it. Do a thing. He did a thing. He did a thing! Okay, now just don't get crapped on. Please. Uh, I just can't. Her special three is armor piercing, which is scary. And it costs so little, too, compared to Raiden's, but... You gonna do a move? He's gonna save up for a fucking ultimate, isn't he? Yep. I think that should kill her, honestly, but, uh, it's still scary. <laughs> oh, also, I guess those two first, uh, those two fight, those first two fights I had, uh, classic Batman invade, which wasn't a good test, but... Here you go, he still had about half his health, um, just no Justice League, no multiverse, make sure it's one character on the enemy team, or sorry, three characters on the enemy team, you only use one on your team, um, and you should be good to go in Arena. So that is it for this video guys, if you like the video maybe leave a like, maybe subscribe, if you want to support me click the join button underneath the video or on my main, uh, my main channel slash, it's the first link in the description, give me money, I love you very much and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Peace guys.